Hello girlfriends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jodi and it's great to have you join me today. So today I am excited to bring you what I would consider more of a luxury high-end brand and today we are bringing you the Briogeo Curl Charisma line. I am so excited to be trying these products out. This is the first impressions. I've been sitting on these for a while on my shelf and I, I don't know what I was waiting on. I guess the perfect opportunity and here it is. So I have already washed and conditioned my hair and we are going to dive right into this. I did pick up, let me get you the box here. I did pick up this whole kit. It is. It includes the shampoo, conditioner, and the mask and a cream. And then I purchased the gel separately. I'm pretty sure I got that entire kit for, it retails for $30, but I feel like I got it on sale. And so we are going to dive into the specs of the shampoo and conditioner. I'll give you my thoughts on that. So let's get started. This is the Curl Charisma Hydrating Shampoo. This hydrating curl enhancing shampoo is infused with nutrients that seal the hair cuticle, locking out frizz causing humidity and enhance moisture retention to support consistent and curl formation. A creamy formula cleanses hair without stripping it of its natural oils and features rich emollients for soft, touchable curls, coils, and waves. It's 90s. 95% naturally derived, vegan, and Leapy Bunny certified, cruelty-free. So, um, I noticed earlier when I was looking through some of the ingredients, I'm not sure if this one has it in here. It does. I'm curious about this. Maybe I should have looked it up beforehand, but kind of caught my attention last minute. It says keratin amino acids. I always assumed that keratin was a byproduct of, like, animals. Maybe I'm wrong in that department, but... I'm just confused as to how it can have the vegan claim if it says it's got keratin in it. Like I said, I'm not an ingredients expert, but that is something that kind of caught my eye. If you know know the whole story behind that, let us know here in the comments down below. Anyways, this shampoo, this was a good shampoo. I did have to go in with a double cleanse. I know a lot of people oftentimes do that. It's not something I particularly do all that often. If, if you don't know the whole story, I usually go in with actually a co-wash first, kind of slightly detangle. And I just, I, I like the way it feels in my hair to start out with, kind of just softens my, my hair. Um, and then I go in with a shampoo usually. Because I was testing this product out, I didn't want to use the co-wash as well. So I did a double cleanse with this. My hair was pretty dirty. I had actually extended my wash day a little longer than I normally would have, but um, this did a great cleanse. The first time it didn't really suds up much. Second time it suds up fantastic and I feel felt like my hair, I will say I did not feel like my hair was hydrated after this. I did not feel like it left my hair feeling, I've had shampoos left my hair feeling softer if that makes sense. This didn't leave my hair stripped at all but I really don't think hydrating shampoo was quite the wording I would have gone for for this. I still think it's a fantastic shampoo and I like it. This, by the way, retails for, let me check my notes. The eight ounce retails for $28. This smaller container, if you buy it separately, retails for $15. So, or you could buy the pack like I did for 30 or if you get it on sale. So um, I recommend if you're unsure of how you feel about these more high-end products, try the travel sizes first and see if you like it from there. One more quick note about the shampoo. This is a very liquidy shampoo. I was very surprised by it. I was trying to smell it the other day when I took the little seals off of it and I was spilling it out before I even realized it and pouring it into my hands. It did spill out. I mean, it ran all over my hands. It was hard to contain in my palm and then get it into the scalp of my hair. One thing I would like if I'm nitpicking a little bit is maybe to have it into like a one of those applicators um, just different packaging where the applicator can go directly onto your scalp and maybe be a little bit less messy. But like I said, that's just me nitpicking a little bit. Next, I applied the conditioner. This is the ultra high drain silicone free conditioner it is infused with nutrients that seal the hair cuticle, locking out frizz causing humidity and enhance moisture retention to support consistent curl formation. Our moisturizing curl formula provides deep hydration for soft, touchable curls, coils, and waves. It's 96% naturally derived, vegan, and leaping bunny cruelty-free. The directions say that after shampooing, apply conditioner and massage into hair, ensuring it is evenly applied. Leave in for up to two minutes before rinsing. So that's pretty much what I did. This is a good conditioner. I really do like this. It is a rich but easy-to-spread conditioner. It's 
I don't want to say it's thick, but it's very creamy. It's, it's easy to spread. And this just melted it into my hair. It did not leave my hair feeling, well, it was very soft when I applied it, but when I rinsed it out, it did not feel like I had too much moisture. It did not feel that buttery soft. I try to personally avoid that buttery soft feeling for conditioners when I have such fine, easily weighed down hair. My hair naturally feels soft pretty easily on its own. So this was a great balance for me. I just felt like it, like I said, the shampoo did not leave my hair feeling super hydrated, but this paired together very well, the shampoo and conditioner. So I think these are very good. Price is the same for this full size. The eight ounce is $28. And for the smaller size, this two ounce is $15. And next we are moving into the stylers. And so this is the Curl Charisma Leave-In Defining Cream. This leave-in curl defining cream is fortified with nutrients that seal in the hair cuticle, locking out frizz inducing humidity. It enhances moisture retention to support curl formation. This formula includes hydrating avocado oil to support soft, bouncy curls and waves. It is 95% naturally derived, vegan, and Leaping Bunny certified cruelty free. The directions say to apply one to two quarter size amounts to damp hair evenly from roots to tip. Do not rinse and you can air dry or diffuse your or diffuse dry your curls. This cream can also be used to slip back styles and smooth strands for a sleek look. I never really use creams to slick back my hairstyles. That's just that's just my personal preference. But anyways, I am really excited to try this product because I have heard such great reviews on this by other people in the past. And so I feel like this is the this is the product that I am most excited for or had the highest expectations for. By the way, if I didn't say this before, these products smell amazing. Each one is a little bit different in the line. I mean, they're the same, but it's just a little slight variation. And it's just a sweet, I don't know how to describe it, scent. Now, for the directions for this, it says to apply a quarter sized amount. For my hair, I feel like that could be a little bit too much. So I'm going to go in with that amount. This isn't as thick as I expected to be truthfully honest. So, you know, I might be able to go in with another size amount. I'm having troubles talking here with the English language. I might be able to go in with that same size amount on the other side. And I guess maybe that would make a quarter sized amount. Okay. Yeah, that soaked in really well. So I'm going to apply that same amount over on the other side. And then I will brush style this in. I'm just going to make sure I get this back area. You know what? I'm going to go in with just the tiniest bit more. Just the tiniest. I don't even know if you could call it pea sized amount just to make sure this back area gets some love as well. My hair was sopping wet when I started this portion of the video, but I mean, you can clearly see how much has soaked into my robe, but it's drying out. So I'm going to wet my hair down again before brush styling. First, I'm just gonna brush it through. Some people prefer to style more on damp hair and some people prefer to style more on soaking wet hair. My hair can get very stringy and not in a good way, I feel like. If I do it on damp hair, my hair just does not clump like I'd like it to. So it, it's your own personal preference. I mean, if you find that you like your hair styled more on damp hair, by all means, go ahead and do that. But that's just not for me, really. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this brush styling and I will see you back once I'm ready to apply the gel.
Okay, now for the last product that we're going in with is the gel. This is the Curl Charisma First Control Gel. This lightweight curl defining gel is infused with nutrients that seal in the hair cuticle, lock out frizz inducing humidity, strengthen strands while increasing elasticity. Our formula supports a consistent smooth curl pattern, gives flexible definition to curls, coils, and waves, and is lightweight to medium hold without the stiffness or stickiness. This is 94% naturally derived, vegan, and leaping bunny cruelty free. Directions say to apply one to two quarter size amounts of gel evenly to damp hair, raking through hair, scrunching or glazing over strands to encourage curl pattern. Air dry or diffuse curls. It can also be used for slip back styles and to smooth strands for a sleek look. I don't know why I felt like that last sentence was almost like a tongue twister for me. Lots of S's. Anyways, I have always heard of this gel, or in my opinion, I've always felt like this gel without trying it. I feel like it's going to be a lightweight hold. Um, so we are going to find out. I really usually like a more hard hold gel, especially in the summertime. Let's see if this has, has a VPVA copolymer high up, like second ingredient. It does have glycerin. It also has like rice amino acids, quinoa, keratin, and all right, we're going to get into this because I don't know why I obsess over ingredients so much. Some people can just like analyze the ingredients list and say, okay, this is going to work for me or it's not. I just have to try it. I'm just one of those. I just have to try it. I'm going to apply some upright here and then some of it I will do flipped over. And I'm just going to start out with a small amount on each side. This is a clear gel. Let's see. It's a pretty lightweight consistency. It's really not sticky. So I see that this would smooth on easily. I feel like this has good slip. Once again, it has a good scent. It's a little bit different than I feel like the more creamy products, but still good. Once again, try and go in with about the same amount on this side. All right, now I'm going to flip over. Actually, let me get a little bit more for the very back here. And then I'm gonna flip over and apply, like just kind of glaze over a little bit more gel and scrunch some more. Get a little bit up here. This is always my, my flyaway zone. All right, as per usual, I'm going to wet plop for about 10 minutes and I will diffuse my hair. I'll be back. I'll show you my final results. All right, curl friends, I am back from diffusing my hair. My hair, however, is not fully styled. I wanted to show you what my curls looked like before scrunching out the crunch. This did give me much more of a cast than I was expecting. So I diffused to about 90% dry and I did a few things around the house. I went back and I diffused more. And so my hair is entirely dry. And usually when I go back and diffuse a little bit more, I'll break up the cast if there is one left. But I was not expecting this out of, out of this product because let's see, it says that it will give you well, it doesn't say it on the back, but it does say on the specs that I read, which was online, that it is like a soft to medium hold. And so I'm not mad at this though at all. This just was not what I was expecting based on, I guess, reviews I've seen in the past from people. It's been a long time since I've seen a review on this gel, but this, I, I just was expecting a more soft and voluminous look. So I'm going to scrunch out the crunch with an oil. I'm going to do that upside down. That's just how I prefer to do it, but I'm going to be using my Verb Ghost oil. And then we'll see what this looks like once it's kind of fluffed up some more. All right, so now I have 
fluffed everything up. I apologize, I got like this weird crimp in here. This is not from the products themselves, it's from my brush style and I just kind of went funny. And if I do it on the other side, it doesn't lay right either. So it's just gonna, just gonna look a little weird. Um, okay, so what are my thoughts on my hair? Let's get this so you can see it a little bit better here. Show this side here. And I'll turn around and show the back. Overall, right now, I am really impressed with how this is looking. I have good definition. I have good hold, I feel like. And I'm liking this. It feels lightweight, like I still have volume. I have, back to the definition, I have curl definition clear up at the top to the ends. And so, yes, I, I do like these products so far. Now, we are going to see how they hold up for day two. We are still not in like the very heat of summer when I'm filming this, but we do have we're going to come into some hu humidity tomorrow. Um, one thing I will point out though that I noticed is right here. I don't have this when I part it on the other side so much, but right here I've got some frizz going on. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this gel and a little bit of water. I am going in with such a small amount. Like I don't even know if you can see that. just a tiny bit of water and I'm just going to kind of glaze that over that spot okay I just kind of tucked that in I feel like and I guess I'm just gonna try to get the rest of that on my hair and so like I said I'm gonna come back on day two show you what my hair is looking like how it's holding up and we'll reserve final judgment for then see you then all right, curl friends, I'm coming back to you with day two hair using the Briogeo Curl Charisma line. And I'm sorry, I got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> but this is what my curls are looking like here. And the other side. Now I have some developments to tell you. I have definitely some updates here. Um, yesterday, after I got done shooting the video, I did, I usually take my photos after that my hair softened up a lot a lot a lot and as the day went on my hair got more frizzy and um it just it wasn't looking the greatest so i knew i had some places to be today and i didn't want my hair to look absolutely atrocious so last night before i went to bed before i put my bonnet on i did use some hairspray and my hair actually looked better when it came out of the bonnet i was i was surprised what it looked like this morning i was pleasantly surprised but um so this does have hairspray in it so I guess that kind of speaks two things for this product line one these products behaved more like I had originally anticipated than two mainly speaking of the gel um, because I had good definition I felt like the cream gave me good definition and everything but the gel was a softer hold like I initially thought. It didn't start out like that, but it very much quickly turned into that. Um, so the other thing that it has to say about, the, or my experience has to say about these products is that it can be fixed. It can be fixed probably if you use a harder hold gel on top of the Briogeo Curl Charisma. That's probably why I do next time I use this. Or a hairspray I will definitely do that too because you know me I'm a hairspray kind of girl so but if you're the type of person who doesn't care about using hairspray like you don't mind go ahead and give it a go don't be afraid so let me show you the back of my hair really quick here I did forget to mention yesterday as well the price of the gel that gel doesn't come in a travel size it only comes in I'm not sure what size that is let me check here I guess the gel is an eight ounce size and that retails for $24. So like I said, this line is more of a luxury line. I really like the shampoo and conditioner, but I do not feel like the shampoo is a hydrating shampoo necessarily like it says in the title, but to me it's a good cleanse. And the conditioner is a good complement to what the shampoo leaves your hair feeling like. The conditioner um, compensates for that. And then the cream, I will play around with some more. The gel, I feel like 
it's a decent gel, but to me, it just needs a little extra hold on it. So those are my thoughts overall for this line. Let me know if you've tried this down below. If you're in interested in trying the Curl Charisma line, I know it's really popular for the curly community, um, but it is a luxury brand. So like I said, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this video. And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.